Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Crater. It's on variable energy and it looks like we're actually starting to lose a little bit of daytime. So I'm just going to set the time to time set day so we have a little bit more time to work with. So today what we're going to be working with is the junction blocks. There's just an update tutorial. I fixed some issues with it and uh, I noticed that the power wasn't generating or being pushed downwards. So basically having it like this, uh, there wasn't any power getting to the bottom part uh, before, so what was happening was it wasn't going through the bottom direction. I was able to fix that in the latest update, so this particular version of it. And uh, one last thing that we can do now is I've basically improved the the how it basically transfers all the energy now before it was only transferring one direction and it was causing some uh, issues where it was basically not synchronizing all directions at the same time now i've basically broken this into a few different procedures and then basically called it into the main update tick to basically um, allow all sides to basically push out at the same time and that helps with uh, tick delay issues as well. So uh, before it was doing it every tick and then it would be a little about six ticks behind for to get to every side. So now it's basically running, it's pushing out as much power as it can possibly can for every tick for every side and it seemed to work actually quite well. So if we go to our device settings, we can actually see that the input um, direction is facing north. So input, output, all these particular directions are proper. And if we go on this one, we can see the, the output is down and the output or the input is up on this one. If we were to connect wires to this and it would basically uh, work properly. So if we right click on this for power, you can see that it's already filling up. And so it basically works now the way it, sh it was intended to. So we can basically move on. So let's go into MCrater and I'll show you the changes that I've made. It's not too complicated, but it's easier if you guys actually just get the procedure from the workspace because there's a lot of code and it's really a pain to actually set up. So let's go into MCrater. Okay, so the first thing that I've done is I've basically gone into the junction block and that I've looked at the settings. The settings before were basically transferring on the global uh, switch that would basically cycle between one, two, three, four, five, six, and then cycle back to zero, and then one, two, three, four, five, six again. Uh, this was working for the most part, but it was every time it moved to a new number, we were only doing one direction at a time. That's where the issue was, is where the ticks were basically being um, a little bit slow because it took uh, over five, set to five or over a tick to basically update all sides that might need power. So it wasn't getting to all the directions that it needed to and some had priority. So now basically what I've done is I've gone and created individual procedures like this and I've basically called them using the advanced feature right here and I've basically gone called procedure and then I've used the one with the X, Y, and Z uh, variable block parts and what I'm doing is I'm basically just cycling the side rotations around so this one here is the up direction and then below here is the down direction you can tell by the plug down and then below here is north and then east and then south and west so that's basically what those ones are now basically what I've done is every time that it's basically changed so this is the up direction now there's a down direction which has priority so the priority one that is run is always the run the one that runs first. So this is the up direction for the up procedure. This has priority, so it's the testing if the output direction is uh, basically up. So this is the part of the code that runs with priority. Below that, the next thing that basically we'll be testing for for the side is if down has an output. If down has an output and there is 
um, energy stored, then we can basically move on and run this condition. And then it will move to north, east, south, west. So basically what I've done with the other procedures, if we go over to, uh, let's say, our north direction. This is our north direction. I basically just cycled the way that what has priority to run. So in our case, this is our north. And then what this is going to do is down below here, we have our up direction. So it's basically just shifted on what order that they need to be run in. And when it goes into being in the timer here uh, under our first condition, our main update tick, it's basically going, okay, we're gonna run the up first and then down north, east, south, west, and then it's going to go down. Okay, then we need to do north, west, south, e or north, east, south, west, and then up. And then it's going to do and follow the order and then whatever starts at the beginning of the procedure, it's gonna run first and then it's going to end with the last one. And then it's going to basically move on to the next one. So all of these are being run at the same time, unlike what we had before, where only say north was being run from this per part, east, south, west, uh, all the other directions up and down, right? So now they're all bundled under a group like this, and it seems to be fixing the amount of uh, ticks that it takes to basically transfer the power. So if you want the procedures and stuff, uh, again, you can get it from the GitHub. I will go there in just a second. So this is the mcreator examples slash variable energy. This is the actual project that I'm working on. You can see all the different downloads here that I basically have. Uh, the ones with that number is actually wrong. That should be um, the second version. So basically, if you want to download it, you can just click on the download. It'll bring you to a download page. It'll list what basically changes were made. And then you can basically click the download button right here and it will download it to your computer. So that's basically all there is. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.